Hello and welcome to Anarchy and the Ukulele with me, Paul Mansell. Today I'm going to review this wonderful book here, which is Graded Repertoire for Ukulele Classical, for Low G Ukulele by Jeff Peterson. I would say, although it says for Low G, there are also some in here for High G as well. So let me give you a little bit of background about Jeff, first of all. I had the pleasure of meeting Jeff at the Ukulele Festival of Great Britain where I was playing and he was headlining. And what an amazing headliner he was. Boy, that man can play ukulele. Um, just so that you know, he's got two Grammys. He's played with Eric Clapton. He's played with Jake Shimabukuru, among others. This is a man who is at the top of his game. To watch him was just mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing um after he performed i had the pleasure of um, actually playing with jeff as well we sat out the front of um cheltenham um town hall and uh, we both sat and had a bit of a jam together and he just blowed my mind how good he was it really really was um and it was absolute pleasure to spend time with him so we've got a chap here who's really at the top of his game this book came out in 2020 especially exciting for me because a lot of the pieces in here i know and i've arranged in previous books that i've done as well so it's very exciting for me to see someone really at the top of their game to see how they attack them as well so this book starts at grade one it starts with just single line melodies it starts with the classic ode to joy if i just show you that you can see here we've got a single line melody for ode to joy okay so it starts with relatively simple pieces like that Gets a little bit tougher, goes all the way through to grade eight, where it's tackling pieces like Grand, uh, Capriccio Array by um, Targa. And the book is littered with the usual classics. It's got Crulli, Carcassi, Targa, Gaspar Sands. It's also got some slightly less known people, some uh, Louis Milan and Jose Ferrer as well. Um, this book comes with, so it has um, left hand or fretted hand fingerings. I normally get very worried when I see that because half the time they're wrong um, and bad. Not in this case. As you would expect, Jeff has got all the fingering perfectly correctly um, and it's brilliant. It really, really helps. On the plucking hand, he also uses the PIMA system, which is nice to see. So he's giving you clear instructions as to what fingers to use on your plucking hand as well. The pieces are laid out very very clearly there's no page turning stuff like that it's nice bold print as well um, all of the pieces come with videos and audio frankly it's worth the money just to listen to Jeff or to watch Jeff play them it's about 25 pound this book there are 62 pieces in here okay there's roughly eight on each grade and I think for 25 pounds that is an absolute bargain it's ideal for anyone who wants to dip their toe into classical because it's got the early pieces that are relatively easy. It's also ideal if you're an intermediate player or indeed an advanced player and you want to tackle some of the more difficult bits at the end. I think it's great. Jeff has clearly got an amazing understanding of both re-entrant and low G. So some of the ones where he's done them for low G, especially the Bach ones, it's because effectively you run out of notes if you don't use the low G but just very very clever in the way that he does it I love the way that for the early pieces he very much stays in the first position as well so he's done some clever arrangement where things are sort of kept in the first position like I say several of the pieces I've arranged as well so it's really fun one of the gavots by Bach it's great fun to look at where Jeff's arranged it and I've arranged it. And then you look at it and you think, oh, that's so clever what he's done there. Really, really good arrangements. So what I'll do, I'll sort of, I'll play you one of the harder pieces and then I'll play you one of the easier pieces. So the first one that I'm going to play you is from grade six and it's by Jose Ferrer. Oh, I didn't say that very well, did I? Jose Ferrer, called Valsa, which means waltz. Um, I've also seen this piece called Ejusicio which means exercise, so you may know it by that name. Wonderful arrangement. I love the detail that Jeff's gone into. Um, you know, he's put where you should do crescendos, diminuendos, poco hits, etc. And as I say, all the fingering is there. So really, really clever arrangement of a lovely piece. So let's just have a little listen to that first off. Thank you. 
Okay, so that was Valsa by Jose Ferrer. We've got much more easy pieces in here as well, but the beautiful thing about the easy pieces is that they still sound very, very nice. So what I'll do now, I'll play you an Andantino by uh, Matteo Carcassi. <laughs> pretty little piece. Um, I mean, some of the later arrangements, the grade eight ones, um, like the Capriccio 8, are just amazing. I mean, these are pieces that are really hard to play, let alone arrange. And like I said, if you watch the videos of Jeff playing, they're just mind-blowingly good. They really are. So, um, yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic book. Um, I'm surprised it had passed me by, to be honest, because I'd, I'd sort of heard people talking about Jeff, and I had seen him actually play the Capriccio Array, but um, hadn't got round to checking this book out, but definitely worth it. Um, so there you go, that is classical graded repertoire for ukulele, classical for low G, you can also play several of them on high G as well, um, by Jeff Peterson, great book, worth checking out. Uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and to ring that bell. Bye now.